Hello and welcome to the final day of the Green Style Sundial Sew Along. Today we are doing the simple task of hemming our pants. So let's get started. Okay, now we are going to try our leggings on and see how they fit. And um, hopefully you're really happy with them. All we have left is to hem them. So you're going to turn under your legs and make note of how, like if you want to take a half an inch or an inch, or if you need to take a little bit more um, based on how you feel. If you feel like your waistband isn't snug enough and that you're going to have to pull it up a lot, if you did the crossover, you can still go back and add the standard band underneath. So just put it back the way it was and then add that one on top of where this one was. I'm pretty happy with these. I think I did. I got most of my stripes lined up. <laughs> okay, so to him, we're gonna. I'm gonna use my cover stitch machine. Um, you can use a stretch stitch on your regular machine. Um, a twin needle works as well if you have a twin needle. Um, I'm just going to do the two um, needle cover stitch on mine. So let's head to the machine. Okay, so now we need to hem our tights. So to hem them, I'm going to turn the tights inside out. And whenever you folded your hem down when you tried them on, um, you just want to, you can press it down to where it's even all around. I have stripes on mine, so I can just see where it's even based on how wide these stripes are. Like I just want it to be the same all around. Um, I'm gonna use my cover stitch and I'm gonna just hem it on the right side. And it's a one inch hem allowance, but it may be different for you based on, you know, fabric choice if you have a fabric that has more vertical stretch, then it's going to actually be longer than the exact same size on the exact same body in a fabric that has less that vertical stretch. So you wanna check it each time based on the fabric that you use. Now to end a serge seam, I'm going to pick my presser foot up and then I'm going to pull my threads forward and then yank it to the back. And then I cut my top threads, pull it out, and then I cut those same needle threads that went through. And then I have this. So then I tie a knot with these two threads. So these are the needle threads that were pulled to the back and I'm knotting them just so it doesn't come undone. Okay, so there's my knot and now I'm just going to cut off the rest. And then that's hemmed. I'm gonna do the exact same thing on the other one. If you do not have a cover stitch machine, um, that is fine. Don't feel like you need it to make leggings. You'll just wanna use your regular sewing machine and you can do a zigzag. You can do a stretch stitch. Whenever I didn't have a cover stitch machine and I wanted to hem something, I would use a twin needle. And a twin needle will give it this exact same look on the front. The only difference is, is that the back is a zigzag. I'm gonna show how to hem with the twin needle. Now this is just a scrap that I'm using that I'm just folding over so that you can see um, what it looks like without the um, serger stitching on like a top stitch. I showed how to, on day one, how to top stitch using the twin needle and how to thread. And this is what your hem should look like. And you will have this zigzag in the back and it should be able to stretch. It's not as stretchy as like a cover stitch would be, um, but it will give you plenty of stretch that you'll be able to get them over your ankles. And if you have a little bit of tunneling, you can pull it apart like this and kind of smooth it out. And there is the zigzag. And that's a wrap. That's it for this sew along. Thank you everyone who has joined me and made a gorgeous pair of leggings. I hope you tag me or show them to me so I can, so I can see them. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to me and ask.